Hey guys, welcome back to Gears 5. It's been a while. Sorry, I've been really busy with other stuff and um, let's get straight to it, man. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope I still remember how to play because I haven't done this in so long. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work? I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. Oh, this place, man. Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Oh, yo. Shot Jack. Whoa. That's a good upgrade. Components. Uh, anyway. You know, that module isn't gonna install itself. Just saying. Looking kind of jack. Yeah. We don't exactly have all the time in the world for this. Oops. Oh, god damn it. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. I love gambling on that Potentially wide. disastrous, but so intriguing. Good. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Hacking. Whoa. All right. You figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's true. It doesn't last long. But it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Look at Jack. Beautiful. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy. It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. And I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Can we move Jack here? Oh, yo. Okay. Good job, Jack. Need 
that's it. No more. like an immigration thing This time we're out in the desert. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor. They started making deals. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. <clears throat> Speaking of which, our water supply has been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. Ah, I see you have good taste in weapons. That is reassuring. Yeah, this doesn't have much ammo there. Okay, let's try that. Now we've done it. Better check here, see if I can get anything for Jack. Oh, it doesn't even open. Really? Oh, god damn it. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert forms. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? 
Dad told me about Mount Kadar, what you learned, and... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? <laughs> yep, that is the skiff. OK, what? man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best of him. Well, well, well. You drive. All right. We'll just wait here. Well, oh, four people on this thing this time. All Jesus. right. I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say let's do it and make the last few months disappear. No. Come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 no. See, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. Well, this time we're on the basic. Thought he was going to lose to the Rebels. He infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Oops, oops. This place used to be a city. And what we're going on now is used to be water. Plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Oh, the swarms again. Shit, they're here. So, how we handle this? Turrets! Shit. I need help! 
Shit, man.
taking this. Well, let's go, man. Oh shit, I got no ammo. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? Place look huge from the outside. It's got to have a mission control or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. I reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Work at least. Let's say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. All right, Jack. Where do you go? Hey Jack, let's pull some records. Let's go, dude. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Whew, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive, semi sentient. Don't worry, Jack's got this. R right, buddy? Huh, no virus to stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Got it. I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Fox, you're past Gary. Could you have read those files? Nah, I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak to Gary with me, Gary. Didn't want to see anything different. I think the Jack here. I think the Jack. Let's okay, what now? Well, let's bring that uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry. Is it then? Do that. Walk around. No, I'm not walking that much. These guys are looking here. So, All right. Jack, bring it over. Oh, this guy just kicked the box. Finally, something I can try. Come on, you lot, all aboard. No, sure, you can drive this. Okay, Foz, take us across. With pleasure. 
One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah. I led that attack. Did? Why? To destroy the cog. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the cog. Good to know, Paddock. Little assault, bro. Okay, let's go. This way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Why? That's crazy. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Dishinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Oh, shit. Swarm ahead. On track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? <laughs> Help me with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. Shit, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. More of them. How are we handling this one? Jack, take Okay, they're on to us. About bloody time. Oh, oh now that was some right bullshit.
Yourself. But now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time, but eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. <clears throat> Doors welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Jack, rip that door. Oh, whoa, we didn't know that he could do that. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming. Someone get on that turret. Oh, shit, we got poppers. Don't let them get too close.
Hey, stop targeting me, man. You gotta be kidding me. Fighting off Paddock's men. Mm. You, Lascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. Then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? <laughs> forgot to use how to how to use Jack already. Should be through here. Grab the other side. Gotcha. We found the nose cone. Oh man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. Nice textures. Come on, let's do this. Right, we don't have time. We're gonna get Jack. Um, they can flash people. that a lot. Stealth. I don't need it too much. Sapper looks useful. Grab things. Cloak. Maybe I should start using cloak a bit more often. Let's go. Which platform should we hit first? Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Um, uh, having a problem, pal? No, just figuring it out. So our friend Pat has got some uh, interesting thoughts on the Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Who's he to judge? He tried to launch it himself. Okay, let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Let's try this. There, satellite's on the move. Stay clear of that rail, people. Stuck. Maybe it just needs a nudge.
number two has left the platform. Uh, and our satellite's sitting pretty on the nose, so one down. And let's get the gantry over to the other side. Right, on it. Okay, let's go. Brace yourselves, this might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching the satellites? Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform!
Right, so what do we do? One less. JD! Is that all of them? Uh, yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Then Foz, dock the gantry so we can connect the satellite. Jesus, that was intense. Let's get this done. Oh, oh no! Fuck! They're on us! Satellite number two. Bots on the blink. Someone take a look. Light of That's it. All satellites secure. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so what about yeah, like, the Launch of these satellites is a bad right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. God oh, damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. Ugh. And I was just getting the anger driving it. Need a hand here. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. Let's keep up with it. Watch it below us. Took him out. Jack, shock trap. Now oh, come on. Come on, we gotta get down. Hey, 
friendly fire. are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side.
Bloody hell. Does every carrier burst apart like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. would be so difficult. Hmm. Let's see. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? You just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Got it. We're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. No, we came from this way. I remember. Question for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Groznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. Oh no. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't network, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Ugh. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this pack. How does the bear even know it? Apparently, Paddock served in the cog for a while. That guy was cog. When? I'm clear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Come on, let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable. On the bus, that's all right. Boss, as a Vasgari, are you feeling any, I don't know, connection to this place? Nah. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. I mean, growing up around here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes? Nah, I'm good, mate. You know, this always wasn't a desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes. Well, they haven't dropped it yet. That's good, right?
What do I do? I pass under the bridge. I do. And we're through. Onto the turntable. Facing the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turn tip. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now how do we turn this thing? I started by finding a control room. Hey, it's warm. Perfect. Ready when you are. Yeah, boy.
to a gunfight, mate! All right. Turntable's clear. Come on, let's get that train turned around. That wasn't too bad. Need another pair of hands here. S sorry. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls.